She started out with a CBT and a dream on two wheels. She found her self esteem from the beginning of seat to full license in hand. She's a badass biker ready to command. Hi all, so today we are heading to Dilhorn. Uh, we're going to the Peak District. So the reason why we're going is my birthday tomorrow. And so we're going to go for a ride around the Peak District. Um, I've also brought myself a little present for my birthday in the DJI microphone wireless. So um, the ride up there, I won't have a microphone. Um, getting it delivered to a post office up there. So I'm going to go and collect that today. Um, so we'll give that a try, see how it goes. So I'm riding up on my Tracer 900. And Bo is riding up on his BMW 1250. So yeah, we'll see you on the road. So finally ready for the uh, expedition for Jess's birthday. It took me quite a while to get ready. Jess was already ready and waiting for me. Yeah, so we're just setting off. It's 11.20, headed to Dillhorn. Should be about two hours. Uh, we'll share the good bits. Um, my camera's mounted on the bike so you don't get my perspective, but you can see Jess in front and uh, we'll give you an update as and when uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the journey the uh, the rest of the video will be mainly the peak district which um, is a place that we love going to and now we've found a nice a uh, nice b and b then we'd like to stop there and then just venture out from there so uh, we'll speak to you later they couldn't hear you say bye mm. Well, your bike looks nice and clean. It took long enough, didn't it? Although you've coated it now in that um, anti-corrosion. So point of note, anyone that's um, watching and interested in cleaning your bike, we've just purchased uh, something called Ammo Guard. Found this on uh, eBay, it's about 12 quid, I think, for, uh, for 500 mil. And it, it basically works like ACF 50. And so I thought I'd give it a go. We give the bikes a wash and uh, you just spray this on. It's like a thin oil. Um, you coat everything and then uh, it's meant to give you like protection for 12 months it, it does make the bike really shiny which is quite nice I did mainly just the, the engine compartment just covered the whole bike in it uh, apart from obviously the brakes and the and the tyres we covered those off because we didn't want to uh, obviously cause any problems with the, uh, with the brakes because oil and brakes don't mix but uh, the outcome is that the uh, the bikes are looking really clean, really shiny, like showroom condition on the engine part. Um, I'll see if I can show you that a bit later, and uh, we'll give you an update on that, what we think of the uh, this product moving forward. Um, I, I, I haven't found a lot of information on it. Um, I'd seen it on eBay and uh, managed to get onto their website, um, but apart from that, there's not many reviews on the actual substance so we'll see how it goes hopefully it doesn't strip the paint off um, <laughs> especially as you've covered everything I was already focusing on that hill this looks a bit small I know I always say, but be careful the vehicles coming up the direction.
I'll do both. Stop going. So, update everybody. Um, we've arrived at Montana Garden Studio. Um, and it's brilliant sunshine, which is good. Um, unfortunately, the DJI microphone that was meant to be delivered to a DPD pickup point today has been delayed and hopefully it'll be there tomorrow. So unfortunately I won't have much audio to go by so I'm currently using the uh, microphone on the camera so sorry if it's really poor quality. Um, but we're heading to Bakewell next um, to go and find a cafe to get some food. Um, and yeah, we've kind of like dumped all of our stuff off the bike. Um, and Bo's just loading up your rucksack, are you Bo? Yeah, I've got my rucksack on the back um, of Because we're going to pick up a few supplies from an Aldi or Lidl or one of those sort of shops. Um, so yeah, and like Bo was saying in earlier, we used some of that different cleaning protection oil stuff. And you can see it brings up the plastic and all of the engine bit beautifully so yeah that's that what the hell is that on top <laughs> oh my god that's the tar from earlier it all just congealed on top yeah you're probably good that you've got that oil on there stop you sticking yeah so yeah that's um that's the nice shiny bike do you love my bike? And his is all right, I'm both. Shh, between us. <laughs> How close am I to the car behind me? Foot quite close. Do you want me to do it? No, is my back on the mirror? No. I'm You're not. No, trust it. No. Look, hold on, stop. <laughs> Are you okay? Well done. You're happy to lead, babe. It's the same one, but it's a little windy. Oh, So we've evidently been lucky with the weather, the scenery is brilliant, the roads are nice and twisty but the services aren't the best. Uh, we're just on our way to Bakewell now uh, to get a, uh, a baguette or a sandwich or something um, and then we're going to have a, uh, a ride back, that looks amazing, um, we're going to have a ride back and uh, then have a shower and then go for a meal next door and then tomorrow it's off to Matlock so we're looking forward to that uh, 
when he'd been to Matlock once before and uh, he was a, I think it was a bank holiday weekend so you can imagine how busy it was it'll be nice to go there it's a little bit quieter and be able to get a parking spot and explore the arcades for Jesse's birthday so we're looking forward to that and then we're going to where? Chat Chattersworth House um, so then we're going to Chatsworth House uh, after Matlock and uh, we're going to have a walk around the gardens, have a look at the gardens, have a uh, cake and a cup of tea and then ride back. Yeah, anything more than tennis fun. Oh, there's a big opportunity just after this car. Just have a look. I'll just go out and have a look and then decide. Oh, you still coming. Uh, rather than having to commit straight away, just come out and have a look. Definitely clear, it's got to be absolutely clear to have a look, but it won't necessarily be clear enough for an overtake, hence the look. This is nice. It would be absolutely amazing to live here and be able to look out the window and see this beautiful countryside and these mountains and up the mountains and the, the stone walls, the rock faces, the sheep just on the side of the road. It looks absolutely stunning. I know we say it every time but it really makes you feel lucky, lucky to be alive and lucky to be on a motorbike. Absolutely wonderful. Just think there's other people right now at work, stressed, worrying about things. If you get the chance, get out there, uh, explore the countryside, whether it be on a, a motorbike or a push bike or walking or driving, get on a boat, do whatever, just get out there, enjoy, live your life. It's a, it's a beautiful place. We're very fortunate to live in England. With all the worries that are going on in the world. When you get a sunny day like this, make the most of it. Get out there. You know, you don't even have to have you know, lots of time off. You, could, you can be here in, in a couple of hours. And because this is in the heart of England, pretty much from wherever you are in the UK, Within a couple of hours, you can either get to the Peak Districts, get to the Upshire Dales, get to the, the beautiful roads of Scotland, get to the Lake Districts. Even if you're down south, you've got all the Devon and, and beautiful places like that. Oh yeah, the West Sussex, yeah. Surrey is another beautiful place. The other thing as well, when you're riding like this and you're just enjoying the countryside, you forget about your destination and then you suddenly have a look at your sat nav and realise, oh, we're 20 minutes away. I remember looking and thinking, oh, we're an hour away at the beginning and now it's like 20 minutes it's nearly over and I'm looking forward to the ride back. So it looks like it's straight on where that. Is it sh oh, it's left and then right. So turn right and then right again. Town centre parking, is No. Thank you. 
bridge. Yep. Helmet back now. You are? I'll take my helmet back now. You sure? Yes. I didn't want to happen because that's when they poop on your head. Mm. Just up there lightweight and noisy. Eh? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Airbnb we decided we'd stop off at Morrison's um, and grab some essential supplies um, and thankfully we did because we went, rode down this really lovely road the A6 I think it was um, as you can see it's really really twisty really beautiful parts of it you had the river running beside um, the road which was really really nice the sun was quite low because of the time of year, obviously with it being September and the time that we were out still riding. Um, so apologies if it's quite blinding in some of the video. Um, so yeah, it was just a, a nice road. We both really enjoyed it. Um, got to Morrison's, grabbed our supplies and then had a nice ride back to the Airbnb. Good old knobbly on that. Have a look what they Enduro are. Trail. What do they say? Mi Mitas? Mitas 07s. Mitas Enduro Trail. Or 07s or 09s? I don't know. E07s. 07s. <laughs> Time for a sat nav stitch up. Google Maps decided to take us up this single lane track. Bo and I decided at the start that it looked 
manageable. It was a little bit narrow, but there was a few passing points. Yeah, the middle of the lane wasn't great. It was a bit slippy and sliding. Um, but we thought, eh, we can manage that. It'll be okay. Unfortunately, the further up the lane we got, the steeper it became. Then the moment when I glanced down at my sat nav and realised that we're about to go up a switchback. <laughs> the switchback had quite poor quality road surface and it was very, very steep. It showed I could ride the clutch quite well, so win-win. That's a nice ride. Yeah, it was good. It was challenging. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's fun. Good ride. We went round for some food, the local pub, and then we were set for my birthday the next day to Matlock and then on to Chatsworth House. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Enjoy, guys. Bye.